Dicep says to me something along the line of, so we've just had an election, Bob, and a lot of the candidates that we were hoping might get into office somehow didn't make it. Um, anybody else vote for anybody that wasn't elected? Yeah, I, I, Paul, I like Paul. I like that. I, I can see the body body language there, Paul. You know, it's very, quite quite uh, obvious. Yeah. Um, and I, the, the Lord just basically, when he asked me the question, and I hadn't really thought about it much, the Lord just said, you're the elect. And I went, whoa. You, know, <laughs> you don't have to run for an office that you've already been given supernaturally for life. We are the elect. Come on. Now, we are supposed to vote, and there are people that we're supposed to be voting for, and hopefully we do that. Last time I looked, not all the people that I voted for got elected. But just like in Corinthians, they tell us not to go to court uh, and to go have the civil authorities go and to decide things that are between people that are in the kingdom. Uh, you know, uh, half a dozen years ago, I was taken to court myself and a friend of mine, and we were sued personally for 50 million dollars by a person who used to be in my home group and i even went to a pastor and said would you oversee this and how do we do this so on and so forth his pastor at the time and that man said no this is a civil problem this is not a, a kingdom problem so you guys just go to court We were sued for 14 different counts. The man lost on all 14 counts. And he then asked the judge to reconsider. And the judge said, I'll reconsider, but I'm not going to change my mind. And then he brought it to the Court of Appeals. And the appellate court shot him down. And he was uh, told that he would have to pay all the court fees, or all, the, all the attorney's fees, which we've never received. We are the elect, you guys. You go into the civil, if you think you're going to get what it is that you want to get out of the civil government, then we are naive. God, God selected us to be here at this time. You and me, this is, he said, I have a reason for putting you here, Bob. I have a reason for putting you here right now today. And you do not need to worry about who's in office. And when Jesus came and they and they talked to him, said, are, are you, you know, obviously you're here because you're going to pull down the Roman authorities. Jesus said, I came for the Jews. I didn't come for the Romans. We have been given authority that we're not walking in. Flat out, you guys. Flat out. Uh, the, the hope that you talk about, Paul, you know. It's the hope that we have in Jesus, but the hope is not just that he would do it for us. It's that he, we, he would say, 